Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over Charge DeFi once again and answering the question that people have been asking me non-stop, which is Jack, why is my static and LP token value going down when I bought and now static is going back up? Well, we have the answer in the docs and that is what I'm going to be reading out and explaining in today's video from the information that we do have but guys before we get into the video if you could please smash like subscribe down below if you want to and turn the notifications on so you don't miss a future video also guys go follow me over on twitter at jpkd if i currently hosting a giveaway also guys check out the link in the description down below to the premium discord server i'm currently hosting two giveaways for whitelist spots and uh yeah gonna be giving away whitelist spots to people in the premium discord server if you want to win some whitelist spots for you know platforms and projects that aren't yet out the way to do that is through the premium discord server but guys without any further ado let's jump into it so welcome to charge DeFi. they've changed up the website since i've last been on it i haven't even checked my charge position it's probably since my last video to be honest so currently sat around 14.7 million tvl statics currently sat at 94 cents charges at 127 dollars there and if we check the uh, boardroom here we can see there's about 9.6 million and the farms is about 5.4 million so you've got the charge to busd pool here and you've also got this static to busd pool uh, which is currently paying about 1.5, uh, 1.4%, 1.3% per day. Charge to BUSD is paying 0.84% and you earn charge tokens for the static to BUSD pool. So there you go. Now in terms of the boardroom uh, here, you can see that we're currently below Epoch. So we are getting rebases on static because we're under peg. And similar thing with charge here, you're not getting any, uh, you know, you're not getting any, uh, APR because charge is down. So uh, sorry because the uh, you know it, the peg is is under peg right. So there you go. So we currently have about four hundred and seven dollars worth of static to BUSD and twenty seven dollars uh, twenty nine dollars worth of static and about hundred dollars worth of charge. So I'm gonna go and claim my rewards here. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with it in just a second. So let's go and claim all of this. Um, and essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and increase my LP on static to BUSD here. I'm just gonna reinvest essentially these rewards here. So we're going to go and reinvest back into the static to BUSD pool. Um, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go over to the farms and put some money into the charge farm here. Okay. In, in a second, because we're currently below epoch and it seems that we can get a better uh, rate there right now because we are under peg. So that's what I'm going to do. For some reason, the wallets is, uh, is a bit slower at, at um, showing the, the stats there. Okay, oh yeah, because I claimed, I can't actually do that for 47 hours, uh, which is a bit of a silly mistake, but oh well, it doesn't matter, right? I'll just wait two days. So yeah, essentially what, we could, what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and increase my static to BUSD here. So we're gonna go to uh, LP Zapper here. We're gonna go down to uh, charge. Can I put my charge? I can put my charge in static to BUSD. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put everything into the static to BUSD pool here. So we're going to put an extra hundred dollars in there, which is going to give me essentially, um, it's going to give me about one dollar twenty six per day in rewards. So we're going to go and put hundred dollars worth of charge into static to BUSD. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that right here. You're going to pay the nine cent fee there to increase that position, and then we're also going to do the same thing for static. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for static as well. Uh, that was a bit of a mistake for me by not claiming this first. It doesn't matter. I can wait two days. You know, I, I don't mind. Um, it's it's fine. So we're just gonna wait for that to load. But yeah, guys. Also, let me know down below what you think of charge. Of course, I am down um, from my initial investment here. Um, but you know, uh, it, it's because of this. We're gonna go over the docs in a second and read out essentially why your sort of USD value goes down. Now, of course, your LP tokens don't go down. It's just the USD value. Um, so yeah, there's that. Now let's give this a refresh and see if that's actually updated here. It should have because the transaction has gone through. Um, okay, it doesn't look like it's uh, it, it, it's gone through just yet. So, yeah. But what we're going to do is we're going to pull up um, our... Oh, no. Oh, no. I know why. It's because I had to approve the transaction first. Now I have to go in. Don't forget to break your LPs before trying to sell it. Don't forget to break your LPs. Yeah. Um, so, essentially, because I only approved the transaction, now I actually have to create the LPs and pay another, you know, 10 cents or whatever worth of uh of, of bnb look i haven't been on charge in a while okay uh <laughs> give me uh just just allow it um but yeah so we're going to go ahead and wait for that transaction to go through now and then we're going to do the same thing for um our static we're going to put our static into the static to be usd pool here as well 
and then we'll wait to see what happens there um, in terms of that. Now, what I'm going to plan to do is when I can go ahead and withdraw this in about two days time, I'm going to come over to the farms and then we'll see if we're below Epoch. And if we are, then I'm going to put it into the static to BUSD pool to earn more charge tokens there. I think that's going to be my next move. Um, but yeah. So there we go. We now let's go to if we add liquidity, we can now see that we have our 178 tokens there. LP tokens, we're going to go ahead and put that back into the boardroom here in the static to BUSD, or I could have again gone ahead and put it into the farm, but it's okay. I'll just go ahead and wait the, the two days before withdrawing all of it there. Um, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. So yeah, there you go. Okay, we're just going to wait for that to go through and this should update. There you go. We now have $506 there. So we're going to wait again the two days and I'm just going to pull that out. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for static here. If we go to LP Zappa and we go down to uh, static, we can see we have about 53 static tokens, which is worth about $50 here. Um, or yeah, just under 50 bucks. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go to static to USD. We're going to approve the transaction. Going to go ahead and confirm that. And actually what we're going to do with this one is we'll go ahead and put it in the... Uh, in in this farm here okay we'll do we'll do that this time um so again if we go down to charge tools and go to the lp zapper go down to static and then okay so we've just approved the transaction so we just need to wait for that to go through here on metamask which seems like it has gone through there's the transaction hash so if we, if we go to lp zapper we go to static put that in there create the lp uh lp zapper static max Create LP. I don't know why it's not going through. Maybe it's uh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and refresh it, and I'll go ahead and create that now. All right, there we go. The MetaMask transaction didn't come up for some reason. So there you go. Okay, let's go and reject these two transactions because I've just uh, accepted one of them. Just go and wait for that one to go through. It had three transactions to approve, so that one of them is just pending there. And then yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put that in the farms. But whilst we wait for that to happen, I don't want to make the whole video just me reinvesting my. Uh, my LPs, right? What is a rebase? So essentially what happens to my static to BUSD LP when it rebases? So let's look at a rebase. A rebase is one of the tools charged DeFi to bring the price of static back to its peg. A price will reduce the number. A rebase will reduce the number of static in circulation. What is essentially done is multiply the amount of static by the TWAP of static. This will lower the amount of static in your wallet, but simultaneously increase the price of static by the same factor. The BUSD value of your static after rebase will be exactly the same as before the rebase. What happened to my static to BUSD LP when it rebases? The rebase will also affect your static to BUSD LP. However, because the total value of your static in the LP does not change, the value of your LP also remain unchanged. So the value, yes, um, I, I get what they mean in terms of value, but the actual dollar value does obviously change there. Okay, so that's essentially what happens. It's in permanent loss on the token price difference uh, when it rebases. Okay, so can you give an example of a rebase? Let's say the price of static is 75 cents. And you have a thousand static in your wallet. The total value of your static in your wallet will be $750. After the rebase amount of statics in your wallet, uh, after, the after the rebase, the amount of static in your wallet will, will be 750 instead of a thousand, but the price of static will be $1 again. So the, so the total value of your static in your wallet will be $750. Purchase $1,000 worth of static. Static equals 125, 800 uh, price drop. Okay, there you go. You can kind of see how this how this works here by these two graphics. Now this is in the doc, so I, de I recommend doing it. Will a rebase always push the static price back to a dollar? No, this, the percentage of static burned in a rebase and the subsequent price increase are based uh, on the TWAP, the formula for the new price is new price equals old price divided by TWAP. Let's see the TWAP of a price is of static is 90 cents before the rebase, but the actual price of static is 89 cents. So the new price of static after rebase will be 98989. Uh, um, so if the so if the actual price of static is lower than the TWAP before rebase, the new price of static after rebase will be uh, over a dollar. If the price of static is uh, higher than TWAP, the new price of static will be lower than a dollar there. Okay, so what does a re when does a rebase happen? A rebase happens at the start of the sixth consecutive epoch with a TWAP above, uh, uh, sorry, of static below one dollar, or if the TWAP of static is below eighty cents at the start of an epoch. Okay, so there you go. Can a, multiple rebases occur in a row? Are other coins, um, are other coins or, or LPs? 
our static subject to a rebase. Okay, there you go. So go and read over this FAQ if you guys are confused. Um, it's pretty much all explained in there. So there you go. That is essentially the reason that we are being told here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. Have I now created these LP tools? Um, let's see, can I go ahead? I can. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come over to the farm. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and approve this here. Uh, let's go and approve this uh, transaction here. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in our new um, our new LP tokens that I just created uh, in static to BUSD, which is only like 50 bucks worth. But in two days, I'm also gonna do the same thing. So let's go and confirm that. Put that in, let's go and confirm that transaction over on MetaMask as well. I've just confirmed that on another monitor, I am aware that you uh, that you can't see that there. Um, okay, cool, so we're now depositing that. Let's just wait for that to go through, and then we will end up the video here. All right, there you go. We've just gone ahead and done that. Now we have our $50 stacked, uh, sorry, staked in the static to BUSD pool there. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this once we do hit um, you know, once we do hit this two day lockup period, which, you know, it, it's my fault for, for not doing that before, but it's okay. I don't mind waiting two days before doing that. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the video. If you have enjoyed, make sure you smash a like, subscribe down below if you want to and turn the notifications on so you don't miss a future video. Going to be updating charge probably once a week or something, um, going forward. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys, if you are interested, go follow me over on Twitter at JPKDefi. So I'm releasing everything I'm doing in crypto and DeFi before it gets to YouTube. Also go ahead and, uh, Go ahead and check out the link in the description to my premium Discord server as I am giving away some whitelist spots for a few different projects right now and it will continue to happen as time goes on. So go and check that out if you are interested. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.